it's clear. Armenian votes matter. We saw it today with former President Trump calling out the Biden-Harris administration's inaction in the face of Azerbaijan's ethnic cleansing of Artsakh. We saw it a couple of weeks ago with Vice President Harris calling for the safe and sustainable return of Armenians to Artsakh. This is a tribute to you, a marker of our emergence on the national stage as a powerful electoral force, especially in the six or seven swing states that will decide this election. We have put collectively, we have put Artsakh on the national map, front and center in a national election. Now we have to ensure that these words are translated into action. Uh, on behalf of uh, the Republican side, President Trump can get on the phone with Speaker Johnson and call for the passage of HR 7288, which would enforce section 907. He, his vice president, J.D. Vance could co-sponsor SRS 540, which would scrutinize Azerbaijan's uh, uh, abuses using U.S. military aid. And of course, President Trump can call out, like Vice President Harris did, um, can call for, rather, the return of Armenians to Artsakh. Uh, on on the, the Democratic side, uh, Vice President Harris can announce the full and formal enforcement of Section 907, cutting off all U.S. military aid to uh, Azerbaijan. She can announce a dramatic increase in U.S. assistance to um, the Artsakh refugees who are in Armenia. And finally, and finally, she can press publicly for Azerbaijan to release each and every one of the Armenian hostages held in Baku. This is an important milestone for our community, an important milestone uh, in our emergence as an electoral force on the American national stage. So please uh, remain engaged, uh, keep up the pressure. Our uh, investments in the American political system are paying off. We are today far ahead of where we were uh, even a couple of weeks ago. And in the, in the weeks that remain, we can get even farther. So thank you for all your support.